Hi my beauties and welcome back to my channel. Now a sari is a piece of cloth which could be worn in multiple distinct ways and all the ways are capable enough of accentuating your figure in the most beautiful ways possible. Today I'm going to share with you all the butterfly style of draping a pallu of a sari. I hope you all will enjoy this video. If you do then please don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you people haven't already. Let's get started. Take the non pallu end of the sari and just go ahead and tuck it all around your waist for a single circle. Go ahead and tuck it in. Then you want to go ahead and find the fancy end of the sari which is known as the pallu of a sari. And here you can see me I'm just going ahead and roughly pleating it because we are going to come back to the pallu because we have to work with the pallu a lot for this style. So we're going to just finish off the center pleating first. I'm just measuring the length of the pallu that I do do want and then I'm going to go ahead and just pin the end of the pallu to the skirt. This will accentuate the waist of yours. It will make you look slimmer. So just go ahead and do this. This step is really essential. Don't neglect it. Going here towards the center pleating, one thing that I have always said to you all is that you always want to go ahead and create first pleat a little bit bigger and then the rest of the pleats are supposed to be smaller than the first one symmetrically they all need to be in the single size just the first pleat is supposed to be a little bit bigger it just gives a beautiful look Get, manage the fall of the pallu no, plates sorry and then just hold all the plates from where you want to insert the sari into the petticoat just go ahead and place that place right underneath the navel and insert the pleats inside the sari you want all the pleats to be just underneath your navel <coughs> now i'm going to come a little bit closer for this style you want to make sure that you make the pallu as thin as possible so i'm just pleating it as thinly as possible this means you're going to have more pleats than you normally have so you have to keep a little bit of patience guys like this style would require a little bit of patience as you people can see me doing that as well it took me a while to go ahead and grab all the pleats but what you can do is you can while pleating the pallu you can go ahead and count all the pleats while you are pleating the sari this would help you skipping off any pleat at the end once you are trying to get a hold of all the pleats it wouldn't let you skip any of the pleat so hey people can see me i just went ahead and grabbed all the pleats and i have placed all of them one top of the other and i'm just going to go ahead and pin it right into my on my shoulder into the blouse and just making sure that it is looking like flawless and you guys can see the frame of the sari is just started has just started to come with this step only you can leave it right here as well this is even a style of draping but currently i am going to show you something else i'm going to grab all the pleats except the border of the first pleat so here you can see me i'm grabbing the border of the top pleat and then grabbing all the pleats underneath and bringing them underneath the border and i'm just going to grab all of them and then place it underneath the first border so you can see in a triangular shape i'm just going to keep my border in front both the borders like top border and bottom border and then i'm going to go ahead and place the safety pin and here you can see me i'm just adjusting uh, the sari over my breast area and on my waist area and that's it it's the finished look of the sari guys so i hope you all have enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to give this video a massive massive thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you people haven't already and i'll take your all sleeve i'll see you guys in my next video till then stay blessed bye